Japan just released fully functioning female robots number three. Great news for Japanese robotics! Japan has delivered fully functional female robots to its clients for the third time, with the initial batch of 3,000 sold out within minutes of their unveiling. These robots will serve as both friends and cleaning machines, although that feature has not yet been activated. Next year, more models are scheduled to be released, and this is a fascinating development for both female companion robots and cleaning machines in the future. So are you interested to know more about these? Well, in this video, we'll discuss the fact that Japan just released fully functioning female robots for the third time. So watch this video till the end. Hello and welcome back to the AI universe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on the new things we bring for you regarding the tech and the trends, but also the vital difference between the haves and the have-nots. That being said, let's begin. You may have heard of Japan's astounding robotics advancements, but the most recent innovations are far more advanced than most people could think. This is especially true when it comes to female robots. Despite their physical similarities to their male counterparts, the ladies have been built with an emphasis on human contact, as well as caregiving and nurturing responsibilities, making them one of the most human-like creatures ever seen from this particular laboratory. Let's take a quick look at the history of female robots. The Kuratas female humanoid robot, developed by a Japanese robotics firm, has just been unveiled. The Kuratas, which was initially unveiled in 2012, is controlled by a pilot who sits inside the robot and controls its movement and armaments remotely. It has twin Gatling guns, a shotgun and a missile launcher, as well as an extending sword for close-range combat that fires infrared beams at its targets to locate them even when they are invisible or concealed behind walls. The Japanese Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry METTI, has revealed a plan to have fully functional female robots ready for sale by the 100th anniversary of Japan. Hiroshi Ishino, the founder of the robotics business AISD, is in charge of the project. The goal is to have the most intelligent industrial robots conceivable, said Kazuhiro Sakamoto of the Japan Information Technology Promotion Agency, with its latest feminine inventions. Japan has pushed robots to a whole new level. The four robots, known as Geminoid F, Kaori, Miria, and Lily, were transported from Japan in advance of an international show next year. What distinguishes these feminine robots? New female robots have sophisticated human-like capabilities, such as speech recognition and natural language processing, and have been delivered. They can, above all, respond to voice orders. Their viewpoint is refined as well. They can recognize individuals from a distance of over 100 meters and follow them throughout the room. They've also been programmed with social abilities. If you speak to one in a kind manner, it will respond more quickly than if you are forceful or nasty. They're meant to be used as receptionists and greet clients at stores and hotels. Similar versions will be employed in hospitals and care homes for elderly people who require companionship but don't want or need full nursing care within five years. Japan has long been at the forefront of robotics research, and it has already implemented several practical robotics applications in its society. Further improvements, such as robotics aids for disabled persons, self-driving automobiles, and robot instructors in schools are predicted in the next years. By providing fully functional female robots to their country, Japan has made significant progress towards all of these claims. This can be interpreted as Japan recovering the lead in robotics developments at least until China produces its own. We anticipate numerous advances in artificial intelligence and robotics shortly, which will undoubtedly impact our lives forever. What are your thoughts on Japan's female robot delivery? Are they unsettling? Will they assist in problem solving? What are your thoughts on male and female robots? Popular home robots include Rosie from the Jetsons, R2-D2 and C-3PO from Star Wars, and Theodore from AI Artificial Intelligence. However, while they are all robots in some way, they do not fall under today's concept of a robot. While you may recall them as having a human-like look, contemporary technology has enabled researchers to create female robots with human intellect. We no longer only see masculine robots. Japan has now given an entire universe of new female robots. Everything we thought we understood about robotics and artificial intelligence will be challenged by these new Japanese female robots. These new female robots, for example, may send messages on a phone or tablet just through their eyes and lip motions. It may appear to be science fiction, but it is not. Japan recently released fully functional female robots that can communicate with people independently. 
This advancement might be extremely beneficial to the elderly, who desire the company but are unable to care for another live individual. One of these robotic aides might be your future nanny for one of you. Consider how much simpler your life would be. So, how do female robots fare in the future? These robots may help with anything from emotional support to entertainment by playing games and interacting with residents. In Japan, the population is rapidly aging, and there is a severe lack of carers who can shoulder these tasks. Many individuals will have peace of mind knowing that their family members will receive attentive care even if they are unable to be present due to work or other obligations. Japan's population is one of the world's fastest aging. More than a quarter of the population is over 65, with over 1.2 employees per retiree. Because Japan has one of the lowest worker-to-retiree ratios among affluent countries, it will struggle to offer appropriate elder care services without technology support as its population ages and declines. Japan is expected to continue to rely significantly on technology, like Pepper, to help fill in the gaps. This is SoftBank Robotics's first venture into elder care robots. Robear, a cute bear-shaped robot meant to help patients out of bed, and Robot, a robotic wheelchair created exclusively for hospitals and nursing homes, was debuted last year. Will they be able to take the place of real-life companions? On a different note, the idea of sex robots has been long uncomfortable. It's not simply that they were designed to replace human closeness with pre-programmed mechanical pleasures, it's not simply their striking similarity to people, particularly ladies. A relationship predicted on synthetic companionship also has a familiar, almost unsettling quality to it. To some individuals, like partnerships, because they know how things will turn out and who will do what and when. So if you're looking for someone reliable and always there for you, a robot may be the perfect companion. However, if you enjoy surprises and unpredictability in your relationships, having a robot as your friend might not be such a smart choice, because these gorgeous machines appear to be here to stay. There will be no scarcity of companionship in Japan anytime soon. Japan is fast establishing itself as a technological powerhouse. Regularly, corporations such as Sony create unique items. It's difficult not to applaud Japan's achievements thus far. And now that they've made female robots, there appears to be no limit to what they may do. What are your opinions? Is it getting more frequent to be near robots? Do you believe these new Japanese female robots will replace actual partners or have any other societal implications? On a side topic, these Japanese female robots are fresh new and have just been delivered to their owners. The bots' abilities vary, but the majority are completely functional and should last for at least 10 years without requiring repairs or upgrades. The majority of female robots are now being produced, but they have already been dispatched to consumers who pre-ordered them through various special offers. These robots will be purchased by many women for companionship and by many men for sex. I believe it is up to society to decide whether we view these robots as prostitutes or spouses, but there is no doubt that people will spend a lot of money on them, and society itself may begin to alter as a result of these new connections. These are new forms of partnerships, and we may learn a lot from them as they evolve through time. It is a wonderful moment to be alive. What are your thoughts on the female robots? Do you want your robot? What do you suppose they'll set you back? Please let us know in the comment section below. Having said that, that's it for the day guys. We hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such interesting topics. And we'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.